Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we are building the Lego Friends Hot Lake City shopping mall. Yes, Hot Lake City has got a brand new shopping mall. Apparently the old one was, I don't know, not cool enough. <laughs> so we got demolished and now we have a new one, a new shopping mall for 2021. This is a big box. It is a big set. In fact, <laughs> so I got a bit excited about the word big there. Big, it's a big one. In fact, it has got 1,032 pieces, which means the price is obviously going to be quite high. It's $180 here in Australia, and there are lots of pieces in here and bits to build, which is the whole point of LEGO, really. So, oh look, the ubiquitous slippery slide for all of the big LEGO friends sets. So we've got a slippery slide, so that's awesome. So we are numbered up to bag nine, and the instruction book looks perfect. It's all beautifully sealed in a nice big plastic bag. We have got a big sheet of stickers. They're so colorful. They're like, can they're like candy colors. It's the candy shopping mall. That'd be awesome. Now I want a shopping mall made out of candy, but I digress. Let's focus on what we actually have. We uh, Now, first mini doll that we're going to look at today is Emma. And she doesn't even come in bag number one, but she's quite important to this set and we'll find out why. She also has a brand new bottom piece with some high top sneakers, which are amazing. And a new shirt with a cat on it because you know cats are life and for Emma even more so next thing it was printed on the back it is printed on the back goes like a swirl all the way around I'm wondering when she's gonna get cheese themed clothes too because that would be awesome <laughs> but I love her shoes they are amazing they're like they're like the Lego form of vans so cool okay so Emma we have got and I think I started I, I don't think I said I think I actually took her out of bag three or four but her outfit was just so good that I thought we should have to look at it at the beginning now there are a lot of mini dolls in this set are you ready for the next one the next one is Emma's mum she has got a well, a new bottom piece here. We've seen this skirt shape before for the adult women mini dolls. Got some very nice silver sandals. Her top with the coral flowers on it and the blue belts are amazing. I think I need, I need new words because I just love this outfit. This is my favorite adult female outfit to date. In fact, it's going to be one of my very favorite mini doll outfits. And Emma's mum's face is also just lovely. It's so soft. There's something about the, the, I don't know, the brown eyes and the soft lip color. It's soft. She looks lovely. And she's got this hair piece. She's got the uh, um, Anna hair piece in a dark brown. I'm in love with Emma's mum. I think that might be a little bit you know what? I'm going to own it. I think she's just so beautiful. This is a beautiful mini doll. Now, okay. Emma's mum we have got looking absolutely so elegant for her day out at the shopping mall. Let's move Emma and Emma's mum over because Emma's stepdad is also in this set. Emma's stepdad is Robert and he's got a new torso for the man's, the, the adult man torso, a new face, yes, a new face as well, which is really great. So many new pieces, so many new body parts for this set. So exciting. And his hair, this isn't new hair, but this is hair that, do you know what? His hair is actually the same as Emma's dad's hair was in before the reboot. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute though, because there's also a mini mini doll, the micro dolls, Henry, which I did not know this when we did the park set. Henry is apparently Emma's little brother. Now I'm not sure whether he's her stepbrother or whether he's her, I mean, he's, he's her brother. So this is Henry, he's her brother, and this is her family currently. Now I do have more problems. I have so many problems, but before the reboot, um, Emma's mum was actually called, like in Emma's house, Emma's mum was called Charlotte and her dad was Lewis and Lewis and Robert actually have a lot of similarities but her mum's completely changed. Her mum's name was Charlotte and now it is June so I get very easily confused. I don't know why they changed the parents' names from before the reboot to after. I mean, they, the parents' names. Anyway, this is also exciting. We get a new baby figure. This is Emma's little sister. And she's in yellow. We don't have this little baby in yellow yet. Robert's gonna hold the baby. And so Emma now has got two younger siblings who we have never met before. <laughs> so, and her mum's completely changed her name. So I get confused, ready for a little bit more confusion. Do you remember Sophie and Henry? So Sophie and Henry, Sophie was Olivia's aunt before the reboot and Henry was her husband. These kids are called 
Sophie and Henry. The baby is Sophie, the little brother is Henry. So my brain's exploded now and everything's ruined. <laughs> anyway, Emma has got a whole family and they are all included in the shopping mall set. So let's start the build. The first part of the build is really, really cute. It's a little tiny pram for Sophie and it's slightly different to, yeah, it's slightly different to pram builds that we've seen before. So these pink arched pieces make the shade over the top and then we have this kind of gaping hole at the back. <laughs> so we put Sophie in here, she doesn't look very safe. When we put the handlebars in that kind of means that she's not going to slide out the bottom, I hope, kind of. But it is angled at exactly the right angle, like angle, angle's the right word, at the, for, for a mini doll to be able to hold it, so that's really good. Alright, we have started the build of, no, we're still not, there are, a, <laughs> I get so excited, there are two external builds, or extraneous builds, extra builds, ones that aren't actually part of the shopping mall, but are part of the shopping mall, if that makes sense, they're bits that you can move around. So this is the first of those two, and this is so cute, God, I have to pop these little middle bits out, because they didn't come out when I took the sticker off. <laughs> So you can stand behind here, there is a jumper stud right behind this, so Henry is at exactly the right height. If we put Emma in here behind the cat, perfect, we might just push her forward a little bit so her face fits in. And June, her mum, can be the flower. Oh, that's really cute! Which other set had this? It was one of the fun fair sets that was last time we saw these ones where you can, you can peek through the actual, the holes. <laughs> this is very, very cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> on the top, on the top of this, have these nice big arched arms to make an arch, obviously, because they're arched arms, and around these new big round pieces, which make just the most perfect sign. We see these a lot in this build. There are all these round stickers, so they're all going to be on these round pieces. And it indicates what this little section is for. So this is the photo taking place. That's its official name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit wordy, but that's it. The photo booth maybe. And there are a couple of baskets, good, so you can they're detachable, you can take them where whenever you want for your shopping. And a little green camera on a stick to take your photos with. That's so cute! So that's a little external build. There's another one as well. So what is the other one going to be? Uh we, Oh it's got a turny thing in the middle. And there are some hooks facing out the back. And I'm seeing a similar theme. We, we've got the little flowers, little flower holders, just like we had on the other side. So these are going to be on, they're going to be peppered all through the mall so that it all ties in together. And this blue, yellow, and pink striped bits are also the colour theme. The colour theme? The colour scheme? I think both of those are correct. The colour scheme and the colour theme for the whole for the whole mall, but I forgot to put those little little uh, arched arms on. So there's got a star at the top, so this is, if you get on the turntable you're a star, perfect. <laughs> I think that's really good. It's a little stage, it's a, it's a little rotating stage that you can dress people up with stuff that you buy from the mall and you can put, pop them out here and you can put on a little bit of a show. Or a bit of a, I don't know. Yeah, it, it can be a fashion show or whatever you like. The old mall had a fashion show. So there's a brush and there's a lipstick behind there and we can pop Emma and Henry on there and they can, yeah, they can give it a twirl. So nice and simple, but very cute. There's a lot of fun play features in that. So these are the pieces that we have at the end of bag number one. Extra lipstick never goes astray. And we are up to bag number two and now we get to start building the actual, the actual mall. So all of the base plates in these are purple, and then we've got blue going on top, and then we layer yellow and pink, and over here on the blue jumper studs are some yellow drums, this big ethnic-y kind of styled drums, and in the middle, I, I know they're drums because I know this is a music shop, otherwise they could be seats, they could totally just be... Nice big bulbous seats. But in the middle of here, we have got a keyboard for sale. We've got the little new printed keyboard pieces. They're not that new anymore, but they're still new to me. It's nice to have some keyboard printed pieces. And a microphone at the top, and this just goes in there. That's really simple. That is a really elegant, simple keyboard. Big sticker for this panel piece. Definitely a music shop. There are CDs up there that are 50% off because who buys CDs anymore? <laughs> there are people who buy CDs. Most of us just listen to it on, on, you know, on electrical things, 
on downloads. Uh, a record on the wall and some nice big see-through windowy panelly bits. And then we get to hurl them all in together with white, nice clean white. And then we're layering blue, yellow and pink again and putting on a cash register sticker. So this is over here on the side. This is a little pokey little store. A little pokey little store. <laughs> a display! This is cute! Display with, with, oh, with a saxophone and some headphones. This looks like a little man. Like a little tiny one-armed man with his little white arm there. That's really cute. That's a very, very cute display. <laughs> I don't think I don't think anything else is going in here. So we've got some wall going up and a curved window with a 50% off sticker in here. Oh, that's quite some savings. If you can afford to put 50% off, that means the markup on the products in this shop must be pretty high to start with. Either that or they're going out of business. Now I'm going to assume they're not going out of business because we've just opened this mall. Well, we haven't even opened it yet because we haven't finished building it. There's a cute little pink tree hanging off the side and we are at the end of bag number two. We get a spare microphone. Not a lot of spare pieces there, but nothing that shouldn't be there, so that's important. We're up to bag number three. Let's see. So we've completed the music shop and bag number three holds Olivia, our final mini doll. So Emma must have been in bag number four. So Olivia is actually wearing an outfit that we have seen before, but it's a really, really nice one. It's one that I think epitomizes what makes Olivia, Olivia, but I'm gonna give her, cause I saw this while I was sorting out the pieces. I'm giving her this pink remote control because I can. <laughs> it's pink. It's a pink remote control that makes me very excited. I'm a little bit excitable. She can come over here and talk to June about the new baby that nobody knew anything about. These siblings that Emma had no idea she had till suddenly they turned up. So on the next story. So we're moving a level up above the music shop. Now we have maybe a tech shop. There's some mobile cases there, some mobiles, some, some, some controllers, some game controllers. So I'm going to just call it a tech store. And what are we going to have in the tech store? I'm going to have to take the, the uh, that that controller off uh, off Olivia soon, but that's okay. She can hang on to it for a while while I build this little display area. So on the display we have this the floating piece, which is cool, the one to make people float and things float. So here we go, controller display up here, and on the floating piece is the brand new iPhone 63 looks a lot like the ones that we had before but it's it's the guaranteed it's new it's got a great camera apparently <laughs> and on this display i don't know what we've got here we have got a little case there to actually display something but i don't know what we're putting on that yet so this one goes at the back this one goes on the side and oh we don't find out what goes on there yet we're going to have to wait and find out a really big door frame now you may have noticed that there are no actual doors so I don't know how this mall actually locks up at night, <laughs> but there are massive big doors and no way to shut them. So maybe, maybe you have to take all of the merchandise home each night or lock it up somewhere. Inside, in that big display window, there is, what is it? Is it, it's like a Zobo. It's, it's maybe, uh, maybe, but you know, Olivia made her Zobo. So maybe this is like a different version of Zobo. This is the Zubu. It's the Zululubu. Zoo, zoo, I don't know. Now I'm just making random syllables everywhere. Mm, putting more layered colours on down here on the floor. Another one of these cash registers. All the cash registers have the same sticker on them, which is good. It's nice to have some continuity throughout the set. Be nice to have had some continuity with the parents' names throughout the Lego Friends series. But anyway, you can't have everything. <laughs> <laughs> now we get a really really great staircase one of these ones that that can fold away but this one's not designed to fold away because the last one is attached to a hook on the top so it is going to be permanently sitting here it looks great hanging out there off the side that one holds it in place on the top and then smoothing over like a little little mat at the bottom and then we have another sticker for what's going to be upstairs <gasps> bubble tea's upstairs sushi's upstairs Pokey balls are upstairs. I totally want to go upstairs. <laughs> we haven't built upstairs yet. Now I'm very sad, but it's okay because I know we will build it very soon. We'll put the floor on for upstairs. Yay! More purple. So this is a lighter colored shade of purple to our lower levels. Ooh, and we have a display counter kind of thing there. A lot of open, like there's a lot of negative space in these, a lot of big 
open circles and those big uh, arch, arched pieces. The blue, yellow and pink, I've been looking at it and wondering what the colours remind me of. They're exactly the same shade as the pan pride flag. Oh my gosh, the boba! This is boba, this is where the bubble tea is. Oh, well, all right. So, got a cash register. We've got some bubble tea. This one's like a creamy one, like with milk in it. And this one's a blue. I love, I love those pastel shades. Aren't they lovely? Like a creamy pastel shade. And apparently you can get some cookies here. Do you generally buy cookies? I'm trying to get them to face forward. No, cookies, you need to face forward. I'm gonna put the extra one in there. We're only supposed to put two in. I'm gonna be a rebel, I'm gonna put three in because there was a spare one. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay, down here we have got those little pin holders in gold and we put them up on the top level too. This is gonna be another sign. So this is the sign for the music shop. Nice, we have got a couple of quavers there, very happy looking quavers. Up here is gonna be the sign for what we have below, which was the tech shop. So let's see what that is. Okay, that's an that, that's, that's a cool way to uh, to 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 depict the tech shop, I suppose. A, a little earth there. I don't know. That's actually how does that depict the tech shop at all? I don't know. Okay, we and we've got some railings on now, which is very important. Some more flowers. So these are going to be just the same uh, the whole way through the mall, but sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're yellow on the top. <laughs> and. Now, now we get a laptop with, I'm trying to get this sticker on straight because I'll be really, really sad if my game of, of heart pong <laughs> doesn't actually sit on the screen st straight. This goes in that little display there in the corner. That's really fiddly to get to, but it looks fantastic. Heart pong. Okay, we're done. We're done with that bag and we're up to bag number four and <gasps> dun dun dun. Am I going to stop there for today? part of the build starts with a moving escalator and I didn't want to put it on the end of this build and have you like potentially miss it because you had to go and have dinner or something. So I will get the next part up very very soon. Make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and I'll be back with that really really soon. Now I need to have a lie down because I'm exhausted. <laughs> have a cup of tea, soothing cup of tea. I'll see you soon. Bye!